point in the spirit shown by your players? Yeah, pleased, um, pleased for the players that you know the effort they put in, they get a reward for it because sometimes you don't. Um, yeah, you know, first half, you know, we we're lucky to still be in it. To be honest, um, you know, City could have blown us away through that period. Um, certainly had enough chances to do so, and we had no sort of real conviction, belief in what we were doing, um, we're giving the ball away a lot. But we hung in there, I guess. Um, it's similar to us last week. We missed a lot of chances, and you know, sometimes in football you give the opposition a chance, and you know, we had to sort of just calm down at half time and I thought that the effort the boys put in the second half was outstanding just because again it's very easy to, to get blown away at this arena against the, such a great team um, but we hung in there we made it uncomfortable for City I thought the whole second half and you know they never really got you know, total control of the game and it's the key to sort of trying to get something out of it and we scored three quality goals um, which again you have to against a team like that so like I said <clears throat> Pleased for the players that the effort they put in the second half, um, they get a reward for it. <coughs> Charlie, you made that change, as you say, at half-time. Do you think that did make a big difference to the pattern of the game, or was that just one of many factors? Uh, I think it's, it, it helped. Uh, you know, I thought Pierre was, was excellent in the second half. You know, obviously, you know, his experience um, out there. And I just thought we had, a, just as a group in general, though, I thought we had a lot more conviction about our football, just passing it and not second guessing ourselves, not being hesitant with our passes. It's just in the first half, we just, and look, you know, I'm on the touchline and, and, and everything outside looks easy, but when you're out there, you know, you're facing a world-class team in a, in a venue where, you know, they don't give up too many things. Um, you know, it, it's not, it's understandable in many respects, but at the same time, as I said to them at half time, look, you know, whatever sort of, if there's any fallout or bad outcome, I'll take responsibility. I'm the one that's putting them out there, but let's at least go out there and, you know, and, and show a little bit more conviction about the kind of football team we want to be. And I thought they did that in the second half, you know, and you're never going to take a dominated game of football here, but in the second, second half, the second half, I thought we, you know, we were, we were very much in the game, like I said, against a very, very good football side. And Joe, over the years, plenty of people have criticised the character of Tottenham Hotspur as a club. You've lost three, or you had lost three games in a row. It would have been easy for the players' heads to go down when you went down twice, but they had the character to come back. That, that must say a lot about them. Yeah, look, I, to be fair to this group, I think they've shown that from the first game. I think the last three games has masked that a little bit, and I don't think it's been a question of character. It's been you know, more a question of just sort of lacking a bit of conviction in, in, in you know, because certainly, you know, whether that was the Chelsea game or Wolves away or Villa at home, we, you know, they, we, were, well, we were well on top in those games, uh, particularly, you know, the Villa and Chelsea games. So the quality of football, we just lacked a bit of conviction. But, <clears throat> you know, we're going through a tough period, um, absolutely, in terms of, you know, the personnel, um, players playing in positions they're not familiar with. And at the same time, me not wanting them to compromise on the kind of team we want to be. So it's not easy, but I always feel that through these tough periods, you know, if you can get through them in the manner which I think you need to, and that is, like I said, staying true to what you started you know, trying to work on and, and, and sort of the team you want to become, you come out of it stronger, irrespective of sort of whatever knocks you get along the way. And I guess a day like today, if nothing else gives the players a little bit more belief in them, in themselves as people more than players that you know what they do have that character and belief that even in the toughest of circumstances to, to not lay down and you had you had what looked like a quite a nice exchange at the end with with pep on the touchline can can you say what was said were you just reflecting on a very nice uh, just, game? yeah just you know i mean you know we we promised goals we we delivered, so it was entertaining. He's got a fantastic team. He's had a fantastic team for such a long time. There, you know, obviously want to beat them, mate. You know, but you can appreciate just what a fantastic football team they are. You know, so, and um, you know, he, I guess from from his behalf, he, he's always been not just publicly but privately. You know, um, always sort of been very complimentary about me and my work, not not directly to me, but I found out through other sources, which, uh, you know, coming from someone like him, um, 
I have great respect for. And um, your performances against the top teams in the Premier League or the teams that you'd expect to be the top teams in the Premier League have been really impressive this season. Does that, more than anything else, show to you or maybe give the confidence to Tottenham fans that this is a proper challenge to be at the top of the table? Well, yeah, I mean, I think they're always the measure, but I think more important than that is, like I said, how you deal with the inevitable challenges and, and, and tough times because every team will go through them. Now, we've gone through a fairly extreme and, and we're still going to go through it. I mean, we'll get Romero back this week, which will be great for us. You know, we've obviously missed him <coughs> um, in, in the back four. Um, you know, Richie got some game time and then hopefully Pape Sar <coughs> by the end of the week will be hopefully available, but the rest of them won't be back till sort of the new year. So we're going through a tough time and I think how you deal with tough times is just as important. I really do, you know, and that's why I've been really strong on us, you know, not wavering from playing the football that we want to play. We've, we have fallen short at times, which, you know, considering the personnel out is understandable, but if we can get through this period and, you know, still be in a, in a, in a, in a decent position table-wise, then when we do get the players back and, you know, we get a bit of momentum, which I think I'm, I'm confident will happen you know I don't think unless it's just going to be one of these extraordinary years where we've consistently kind of got this kind of attrition rate in our squad um, you know we, we can we can battle with the best um, Pep was obviously unhappy at the end but the decision the referee seemed to say play on and there's blue can you understand Pep's anger um, you may have got away with one there because it was seen on the side um yeah, I guess so, mate. <laughs> okay, we'll leave it there. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>